a short time ago, the House of Representatives passed a crucial aid bill for Ukraine, $61 billion in all, including $23 billion to replenish weapons the U.S. has supplied to Ukraine. President Zelensky has been warning for months that U.S. aid is crucial to his country's survival. Following the vote, he posted a message thanking the U.S. for its support. CNN's Fred Plaikin is in the Ukrainian capital of Kyiv. Fred, um, how are Ukrainians feeling about uh, this U.S. aid? Well, I would say very positive. In fact, we're hearing that pretty much from all walks of society here in this country. There were actually celebrations in some places here in the capital uh, in Kiev. And then, of course, we have pretty much the entire government uh, of this country coming out within seconds, uh, really, Frederica, of this uh, vote passing um, and thanking the United States for it. And, of course, it can't be overstated just how important it is for the Ukrainians right now on the battlefield. They've really been suffering from a shortage of air defense missiles, but also from artillery ammunition as well. In fact, we've been in touch with a couple of soldiers on the front line. There's one remarkable thing that we heard from one of them that I want to read to you. This is from an artillery reconnaissance commander who says, of course, when we feel support from the outside, it motivates us. After all, the military knows that we cannot win with sticks and bows for people who want to defeat the enemy. This news is a great morale booster. So obviously very important for the Ukrainians. I've been on the front lines um, as they've been suffering from those ammo shortages and really was dire for the Ukrainians for an extended period of time. Also, the president of this country, Volodymyr Zelensky, he came out shortly after the vote was passed, and he once again thanked Mike Johnson personally for bringing it to a vote, but also the U.S. in general. Let's listen in. We appreciate every manifestation of support for our state and independence, our people, and our lives, which Russia wants to bury in ruins. America has shown its leadership from the first days of this war. So they're thanking the United States. Of course, we do know right now, as the situation's unfolding on the battlefield, Frederica, the Ukrainians under a considerable amount of pressure. But you do get the sense that they believe that this aid package could help them at the very least hold the Russians up, possibly even in certain areas, turn things around. Uh, we also got a comment from the foreign minister of this country. There's one thing that stood out to me that was quite interesting. This is to CNN, um, where he said that um, uh, uh, this vote means uh, is a message to all wannabe dictators and aggressors wanting to plunge the world into chaos, obviously saying that this is something that will prevent just that. So certainly here from the Ukrainians, you do see a lot of very positive reactions on it. They really feel that they've gotten a new lease on life. Of course, we have had some pretty dire predictions coming from the U.S. and from Ukraine as well, saying they could lose this war if this aid package doesn't come through, Frederica. All right. Fred Plaikin in Kiev, thanks so much. All right, I want to bring in now Jill Doherty. Uh, she is a CNN contributor and an adjunct professor at Georgetown University and former Moscow bureau chief for CNN. So in your view, uh, this uh, passage of U.S. aid to Ukraine, what kind of message is that sending to Vladimir Putin? Well, I think, um, you know, judging by what they seem to be saying, we expected this. But I think in addition to the fact that the package has passed, and uh, uh, that the Russians were pushing very hard in their propaganda to make this not happen. Uh, that said, I think the Russians are almost more worried about the other part of it, and that is using the um, uh, seizing confiscated Russian sovereign assets to pay for the reconstruction of Ukraine. That worries Russia already. There was a statement from Putin's press secretary, Dmitry Peskov, saying, oh, this will uh, ruin the image of the United States and scare away investors. But I do think that the Russians are worried about that. Hmm. And, and we know that, you know, Putin um, looks for vulnerabilities. And I wonder if he is looking at, you know, the, the divisions uh, in, you know, politics um, on Capitol Hill and beyond, if he is seeing or evaluating whether there are some inroads for him to take advantage of kind of the divisions in the U.S. to find advantage for himself. Oh, no question. In fact, there uh, is now some new information coming out from the Washington Post about some documents that were actually Russian documents um, that were revealed. They were intercepted, showing precisely that. I mean, you know, uh, Fred, this is not a surprise. But what they're doing, what the Russians are trying to do, is really exploit to the max 
any divisions in the United States. And you just saw a few minutes ago this playing out on TV, the divisions in Congress and in the nation mm -hmm. about this. So uh, they will try to take advantage of that, no question. Mm. CIA Director Bill Burns said Ukraine uh, could have lost to Russia by the end of the year without this money. Um, it was that dire, right? Yeah, well, the indications, if you look at what the Ukrainians themselves were saying, uh, the commander in chief, Sirsky, was saying, you know, that that uh, the Eastern Front has significantly weakened. They're very worried about perhaps even in June, another Russian push. And then there's another side to this. You know, as this was passing, I actually was listening to a talk by a human rights lawyer, very impressive young uh, Ukrainian lawyer. And her name is uh, Alexandra Matvichuk. And she was saying and speaking very compellingly about the human price that Ukrainians are paying, she said that passing this bill will save thousands and thousands of lives. That's uh, verbatim what President Zelensky was saying. But she was, I think, really expressing the feeling. And I asked her, what you know, do Ukrainian people feel? Mm -hmm. She was expressing that feeling that, you know, a lot of people have died because this bill didn't pass. But now that it has, it really could save thousands of people. Oh, incredible. All right, Jill Doherty, thanks for being with us. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm.